Well, good morning. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. So, uh, first thing off, thank you for all the uh, well wishes and thoughts over the storm that was coming through. Barry ended up not being a whole lot around here, just some rain and stuff, a little bit of wind, a little bit of rain. You never know what the storms are going to do when they start building in the gut and moving in. This one, we did all right. So thanks again for the wishes. I'll go back through. I still haven't gone back and caught up on the post and the comments and everything on uh, YouTube and at Toast and different places like that, but we'll get there. I got to get home yesterday afternoon, and uh, so I was there all day Friday. You know, I got there 6 o'clock Friday morning and got out of there about 10 o'clock Sunday morning. So, you know, there we go. It was uh, it was fun. Worked with a really good crew, so uh, we had a had a good time and kept everything going, and and it was really really nice. So uh, I didn't get a uh, plant shave, although I did shave while I was there once. I didn't get a video. Sorry, the uh, the bathroom there in the in the main guard house. There were several of us packed up in the building, and uh, it just wasn't a uh, good place to get a video so uh, I missed it but anyway so we got a couple of days growth here that we're going to take care of before we go into work this morning which this is Monday morning obviously so digging around and said hey I haven't used the uh, DR Harris here in a while this is Arlington shaving cream made in England so I said well if I'm going to use a made in England cream we'll use a made in England razor so I got this 1912 that's uh, made in England. Now when I got this head it didn't have a handle on it so I put it on a Bakelite handle because I really like these Bakelite handles. And I think you know the chrome head with the black handle there. I think that looks pretty good. And if we're going to use a British razor and cream, let's use a British after. So here we go. We're going to use the Vashana, if I can get rid of the hiccups, and uh, original aftershave. Really nice. Now this doesn't smell anything like the Arlington. And people say, oh, they're going to clash. Well, no, nah, not really, because, you know, shaving cream, the scent really doesn't linger. I don't think it does on most of them. I, there, there's a few, probably do. But just in general, the scent from a shaving cream is not strong enough that it's going to linger around and bother anything that's going on. So we're going to use our brush scuttle this morning. And I've got my re-knotted Everetti 650 PB, the 650 Papa Bravo. And it's just the regular knot. So we're going to go ahead and load some soap into it and get it over in the uh, brush scuttle while we're doing, 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 while we're doing our uh, prep work, which is just, of course, just a little face wash thing that we could probably actually bypass because I just got out of the shower. But I like bypassing routines, and I like keeping with the routines. So we're going to load us some soap here and bloop, right into the brush scuttle. So that'll start to warm up. The bristles are already warm from the warm water because, you know, we don't do that cold water shaving thing here. If you like the cold water shaving, bless your heart. I'm telling you. Now, the shave I did at the plant was cold water because the guardhouse doesn't have a hot water tank. It's all cold water up there to the sink. And uh, next time I'll probably go up to the admin building and use their use their restroom they have hot water and everything and but uh there were already some folks up there uh in the admin building and i didn't want to go crash their party or anything so i didn't do it this time maybe next time so i did a cold water shave it was a cold water shave with williams but my travel setup is a modern williams and it did good did very good i had a uh, synthetic brush The JR, if I could remember the number, I'd call it. But it's the first JR brush I got, and it's uh, it was really really worked okay. I prefer a warm water shade, but uh, you know, make do when you got to make do. That's the way it is sometimes on these things. All right, nice warm lather. Arlington smells really good. I think I like the uh, Arlington better than the Windsor and the DR Harris. I have a DR Harris Windsor shave stick and uh, I think the Arlington has a little bit better smell now as far as describing the scents not gonna be able to do it I'm just not even good at describing scents not gonna happen but uh, they're both pleasant and kind of 
light, a vaguely cologne, 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 whatever type smell. But I don't know if I can actually describe it. Well, just a little bit more water. I loaded the brush a little bit heavy. That's okay too. And then right back into the brush scuttle. Remember, we got the old brush scuttle here. <laughs> Still using it all the time. I use it often. I don't use it every shave. I don't guess I do anything the same way every time. But, uh, we're gonna use it often. All right. Here we go with a first pass. Boy. Got Cafe Bustello this morning. I need it. I came home and got some sleep at the plant. I was sleeping in little kind of spurts. I think the longest I stayed down at any one time was four hours. And just, just the way it goes. Alrighty. I don't think any of the folks that's to my work actually watch these videos. But if they did, uh, I'd be a big old shout out to them. We, uh, we had a good storm crew. And then the plant brought food in for us. So that was really nice. Usually it's a lot of sandwich stuff and canned stuff and things of that nature, but they actually had uh, plate lunches in for breakfast, lunch, and supper. So that was really nice. Now, the weather had gotten really bad. I don't know if they'd have been able to get through with the plate lunches, but as it was, they were able to make the delivery, so that was nice. What am I doing? I'm throwed off this morning. Hmm. You need to wipe off between passes mostly. I guess I do sometimes just to see how things are going, but I can tell you things are going great with this shave. Got a treat blade because I like the carbon steel blades. Now my brother-in-law, I had set him up with a razor here a while back. Some of you may remember that. And I sent him the razor that was in the case. It's got the it's a really nice full-size 1912 with the handle and the blade bank and it's all in a nice clamshell case. And he was talking about buying a Raider, so I told him just keep that one. He was saying the other day, I think he's going to be a stainless blade guy. I sent him a mix of stainless and carbon steel blades and I think he's going to like the stainless blades. Well, that's okay too. All right, too. I still like the carbon steel. I don't mind drying them off. I see it as part of the process. I think they're smoother, especially on the first shaves. Now, I don't mean that the stainless steel blades are killers on the first shave and that they're horrible and that it's going to be terrible. I don't mean any of that. I just mean they don't feel as smooth to me. They still give a great shave. No matter about that, it's still an awesome shave. But uh, I just like the shaves from the carbon blades. I don't know. Maybe it's part of the nostalgia thing too with the carbon steel blades like they always had early on. All right, now we can wipe this mess off. Who what we got. Because like I said, I already know what we got because I'm, you know, right here with it. And what we got, we'll wipe off here. A very, 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 very nice shave. These 1912s, of course, you know, can't beat them. I tell you, I like my old lather catchers and, and, uh, some of the other older vintage razors I have, but the vintage 1912 models are nice too. All right, so we'll get some witch hazel on. We're gonna come across here on a touch up pass, which like we always say, this ends up being another pass, but that's okay too. 
Alright. And of course putting on the witch hazel, using it for a uh, touch up pass allows you to feel where you have rough spots. Didn't get under the goatee good. There it is. Alright. You get a lot of good slickness out of the witch hazel. It's good for your skin. And yeah, it's not bad. All right. Get that wiped off. And look at that. We're good to go for the day. All righty. So you'll notice that I fell off the wagon when it come to doing like a month of auto stops is what I was planning on doing and I realized that that's hard to do. I've got so much stuff here that I really enjoy using that uh, doing a whole month with any one type of razor other than saying a whole month of SC razors because you know that's easy but doing a whole with one type of razor nah, I couldn't couldn't stick with it very often. I'll get in some more auto strop shades I've still got a few we haven't pulled out yet but uh, just sticking with it for a month. Now, if you're learning how to shave with a valet razor and you want to get to be really good at shaving with a valet razor or an auto stop razor, then using the one month thing is an excellent way to do it. You use the same razor and the same setup and you take all the variables out and you learn to use whatever it is you're trying to learn to use. And it's a great idea. I recommend it. So there we go for today. All right. Well, I'm going to finish getting dressed and get on out of here and back to work and uh, get caught back up on some stuff from the weekend. Be good. I got to get in early this morning and get some early reports done and mailed out, emailed out to different people and it'll be good times. All right. We'll see y'all later. Glad to be back. And uh, thanks again for all the well wishes during the storm that ended up not being that bigger storm right here. I know there's some people having some flooding problems and things of that nature and uh, you know thoughts are with them obviously but uh, right here where I am uh, all is good in the fuzzy hood. We'll see y'all later and uh, happy shades to you.